welcome to Infocom 2022. My name is Dan Smith. We're here at the LG booth, and uh, the show has been amazing. We always wonder what's going to happen next in this uh, environment, but the show has been fantastic, and I'm glad to have you guys here. So for video conferencing solutions, LG has expanded its offering and its breadth. So we have kind of two different levels of video conferencing. We have the all-in-one solutions, then we have the IDBs, and then we have screens which can be attached to a video conferencing solution. So I guess that makes it three possible options. What I happen to be showing here in this room is the 43-inch Flex or the 55-inch Works. So now these have built-in 4K cameras with auto tilt, auto zoom, and a very sensitive microphones. The touch screens on these are PCAP in-cell, so very reactive, no parallax error, so very high-end touch, good video conferencing, uh, audio video capabilities. Also, they run Windows 10. So if you want to run an application on them, then you can just scroll through, as you can see maybe down here, you can just go to the conference app and say, what conference system do you want to run and launch it? So it's kind of like a giant tablet computer combination. So this is one version of what we do. Also, what we'll do is we'll work with maybe like a Cisco system. We are Cisco certified. So when you connect the Cisco system to one of our LG displays, what will happen is the Cisco system will talk to the LG display and it'll say, I'm Cisco, I'm LG. Hey, we know how to work together. And it, the Cisco system will actually set 12 parameters on the LG display to make it work exactly the way Cisco wants it to. Also, the Cisco controllers will also run the LG display. So we have the all-in-ones, we have the Cisco compatibility, and then of course in education, we need solutions that are bigger, but maybe more price aggressive. So our interactive digital boards, we have the TR3DJs, they range from 43 inch up to 86 inches. They're infrared, they run on Android. They work, of course, with, uh, they're compatible if you want to interface with them with uh, Android, iOS, Chrome, whatever you want to do. Also, 30 users can simultaneously connect if they want to annotate and participate. So the TR3DJ is kind of that third option. So we have the all-in-one, we have the video conferencing connect connectivity with the Cisco systems, and then we have the TR3DJs, which are the price aggressive, price competitive, uh, interactive digital boards. So LG participates in technology for LCD, OLED, and LED. So we participate in all three of the categories. What's really interesting, if you talked about everything that's changing this year, one of the fastest things is LED. By the end of this year, we'll have 36 families of LED products. So what I happen to be standing in front of is our new release product. It is what we call our magnet, but it's the residential version of it. So let me talk a little bit about LED and the LG approach to LED product. So a lot of times you talk LED, people say, well, what is your pixel pitch? How bright is it? Is it chip on board? Is it SMB? There's so much more than that. So yes, the one behind me is a 0.7 millimeter pixel pitch. Yes, it's COB, uh, but there's much more to the story than that. And that's where the LG value add for the solution comes in. What you see behind me also has six layers that are on the front of it. So in order to prove the LED performance, there's an anti-fingerprint touch layer, there's a anti-glare layer, there's an anti-reflection layer, there's a black layer to increase contrast, there's adhesion layers. There's actually six layers put on the front of the COB in order to enhance the experience, make it work better in different environments, make it more durable. Matter of fact, we shipped one in a gel coat case and they all fell off and like none of them were damaged. So the COB is extremely durable, especially with these six layers. So we have a 0.7 millimeter. It is a mini LED, micro LED. Uh, we do all the six layers on the front, but then the story continues. So what LG is doing throughout a lot of our LED line is we're taking the LG controllers, the LG scalers, the LG uh, experience. And so it isn't just LCD now, but it's also going to be reflected in LED. What I mean by that is the controller that's in this is our Alpha 9 processor which is the same processor that we run in our high-end OLEDs. Because it's the Alpha 9 processor, that means you have an LG remote that you're already familiar with. And when you hit that remote, the on-screen display is one you're already familiar with. The graphical user interface, the GUI, is one you're already familiar with. The jack pack to connect this is one you're already familiar with. So we do that now through a lot of our LED products. But in this particular product, our high-end residential magnet product, it's not just, it's a 0.7 COB, it's the six layers in the front, it's the controller, it's a user familiarity with the interface as well as the connectivity. Now, when we talk about the LED, other LEDs here in the show, 
While we have 36, we're only able to represent a few of them here. One of our most popular is a 136 all-in-one. So this is 136 inch high-end magnet. We have a 136 inch all-in-one solution that allows users to ship and order just one SKU. What shows up is one rolling case, one flight case. In that flight case, there's only two cabinets to install. So that flight case also includes all the cables, all the connectors, all the SKUs, the mounts, everything you need. You just order it, one case shows up, you put two cabinets together, and you end up with an LG experience. Just like we talked about with this one, it's an LG remote, an LG controller, an LG jack pack. So the experience is very comfortable, very familiar with a lot of uh, our other products. We're also showing at the show some of the LSCB product. The model number probably means nothing to you, but it's 1.6 inches thick. It's flexible, it goes convex, concave. We have 90 degree corners. Again, we're running the Alpha 7 processor in that one. So it's a very familiar on-screen display. We do a lot of image enhancement. Uh, the Alpha 7, the Alpha 9 that we use in our high-end OLEDs that I've been talking about with the LED, they will do color enhancement, gamma enhancement, edge enhancement. Uh, it'll clean up text, it'll clean up jitters. It'll do auto detection of what type of genre you're using and adjust it. It can adjust to the light that's in the room. So it's so much more than what is my my LED package is it C, you know, uh, SMB or SMD or is it COB and what is my pixel fence? The 136, that is a fantastic seller. The all-in-one, one, one flight case, like I was saying, two cabinets, familiar LG remote. LSCB is thin, flexible. Uh, we're also showing a uh, LSAC, uh, one of our 36 families at the show. And that product has a 54 inch cabinet. So typically with this, we would have a 27 inch cabinet. That's common in the industry. But now you have one cabinet where you would have had four. So it's four times physically faster to set it up. But not only that, the mounts are designed so that when you bolt them together, it pretty much aligns them. So the setup, the physical setup is very fast. On top of that, it also has wireless connectors so that when you connect these and you physically stack these cabinets up, the power, the signal, and the control signals are all done wirelessly. There is no, almost zero wires in the back of this, except for the very first cabinet you connect to. So it's physically faster to set up. It has almost zero cabling involved at all. It also, again, uses an Alpha 7 processor, an LG controller. You have an LG remote. So the storyline, as you see, continues throughout the product line. We're trying to make LED much simpler to use, much simpler to install, and take the mystery out of it so more people can enjoy it. We talked about the fact that we represent LCD products, OLED products, and LED products. This is an example of a variant of OLED. This is a transparent OLED. So this transparent 55-inch OLED is actually 40% transparent. So there have been transparent LCDs in the past, but about the best transparency we could accomplish was 10%. So this is a great way to showcase products. We also have this being installed in ticket counters. We have this being installed at customer service counters. We have this being installed in subways windows. So there's a lot of applications where you want to communicate something, but it's going to be on a window. So this is a this is a 55 inch, and I won't tell you exactly what's going to happen, but this category for us is going to grow. So there's a lot more yet to come. And speaking of transparent, we also have over here transparent LED. Now, we started with a black and white version that was 24, mil 24 millimeters between pixels, and now we have transitioned to where we have color. We have 14 millimeters between pixels too, and we're increasing the brightness, and we're increasing the color gamut. What you happen to see behind us is a 14 millimeter. This is our current shipping 14 millimeter color. But like the transparent OLED, I will tell you, this category is just starting. I can't tell you what's gonna happen with it yet, but this category is gonna to continue to grow. So this is fantastic for messaging. If you wanna put something on a street, communicate with people 10 meters away, 50 meters away, 100 meters away. We're standing just two or three meters away. So you're probably gonna see a pixelated image. Even in malls, sometimes they'll put this on windows and just kind of run colors and patterns just to get attention. All right, one of the stars of the show is Chloe. If you're familiar with the Chloe term or the name, that is what LG is using for our artificial intelligence human interface software. So Chloe is now partaking in part of our robot line. This one happens to be a wayfinding robot. It's got a 27 inch touchscreen on the front. It's got a 27 inch touchscreen on the back. So the wayfinding robot can help people find their way in an airport. You can help them find their way in a mall. You can help them find their way even within a store. So if you're in a large store and say, hey, where's the men's running shorts? It can take you to the men's running shorts. But additionally, people are starting to be creative. They're looking at using this for security. 
the video that's on here can be live streamed. So you can see what's happening. You can have these roaming around doing video security for you. It can also run promotions. So as it goes around a store, either a mall or within the store, it can show you the promotions that are going on within the store. So this is the Chloe in our wayfinding robot, but also in the background there, we also have Chloe as, I think I don't know if we can walk backwards and go this way a little bit. This is what we call our serve bot. So this serve bot or delivery bot, it comes with either trays or drawers. So if you're in a hotel, you wanna put drawers in there, you want it to run things up to guests uh, within the hotel, either it's food, toothbrushes, whatever, or trays if it's in a restaurant. It can deliver food to the table. And then it can also, when you bust the table, you can put the, the dirty dishes back on this and kind of run it back to the uh, dishwasher. So this is shipping. This is in use. So a lot of these things I'm talking about are not like prototype futures. These are real products. And since we happen to be standing here, our 110-inch. We've talked about doing 110-inch for a very long time. The 110-inch LCD is actually live, in stock, and available. So as I, as I step back and look at the video wall behind us, we talked about the LSAC, the 54-inch cabinet. This is it. This is the 54-inch cabinet. When you stack them, they lock together, and you don't need to wire them together. Also, I'm going to keep saying this, Alpha 7 processor, LG remote, on LG on-screen display. So it becomes a very familiar experience to anybody who's used LG products in the past. A lot of people know LG for their OLED renowned in the industry for the highest video performance. What we've done is we've taken that OLED panel and we've added broadcast production capabilities. And I shouldn't probably just say broadcast. If you want to do content creation, animation, if you're a colorist, if you're doing post-production work, that's what these displays are being used for. We have a 27 inch, a 32 inch, a 65 inch. So this product, if you need to be able to set, do I want Rec 709, do I want Rec 2020, what color space do I want? Uh, what do I want my white point set at? So whatever color or imagery settings you want, your PQ point, you select it in these displays so you can see it. It'll look at the masking. You can choose your masking that's on this. You can watch your audio levels. You can look at your vector scope. So all the broadcast and engineering and editing features you want are built into these displays. We recently just showed these at the NAB show, the National Association of Broadcasters, and we won best to show for this product. Not only is it extremely good image, extremely good functionality, but the price on this is really effective. So a lot of people have really enjoyed this product and it's garnered a lot of attention immediately. Just started shipping about, uh, I'd say maybe two or three months uh, as I'm narrating this right now for Infocom in June of 2022. What's happening in the industry, we've been looking at hybrid and outdoor products now for quite a while. And it's really coming into its own. And by that, I mean, we're hitting high volumes in this category now. Lots of customers buying the product. I happen to be standing in front of our 55 inch XE4. If you look at the cabinet, it's only a few inches thick. What's behind there is the mount. The cabinet itself is only a few inches thick. And this is a hermetically sealed cabinet. So the airflow that's used to cool this never flows across any of the electronics, the backlight or the screen. 4,000 nits has a HD base T compatibility. So you can run it with just one cable if you want. The front glass is IK10 rated, meaning very durable, very like small ballistics bulletproof. But also, I can tell you when you put these outdoor, people will find ways to vandalize them. The front glass is replaceable. So 4,000 nits, and when we run up against our competitors that are running at 3,000 nits, we've actually found a way to run it about 100 watts less. So 1,000 nits brighter, 100 watts less. So the power consumption is a very powerful green message for a lot of our customers. If it's 100 watt less over five years using typical electrical rates, that's $700 difference over five years of the panel. So it's a meaningful number. So that's very important. So there's a 49, a 55. Also, we are just getting ready to release, just started shipping a 22 inch version. Now this is available as an open frame product or it's available as an all-in-one solution. So 22 inch, 49 inch, 55 inch. Uh, we also have a 75 inch that's not here at the show but a lot of different products available in the outdoor hybrid market. Well, thank you all for joining us at uh, Infocom 2022. I hope you like the LG messaging. Uh, maybe you're a geek like me, love this technology. What's happening with LCD, what's happening with OLED, what's happening with uh, the LED products it is nothing short of amazing. So if you need more information, come to lgsolutions.com. 
because we only got to show you a very small portion of our products that we have available. And uh, if you need any help from us, let us know. Something we've done very differently over the past couple of years is uh, our, our sales engineering team, not the break fix guys, but the sales engineering team that help design, install, is now 30% the size of our sales team. So we have a lot of resources available to you if you're trying to do a solution to find out what's compatible, what's not compatible, if you run into a compatibility issue. Uh, with, that team also works with 225 vendors at the show, uh, finding out what they're doing and how to use the products. We are also technically integrated with 75 vendors in the show. So we're trying to make sure the products are compatible and that we can help you not only with the selection of the product, but the usage of the product. So thank you for now. Appreciate you coming to Infocom 2022.